Greetings to you all in the name of our Lord and our Saviour Jesus Christ. Welcome to our time of devotional worship for Monday the 29th of November. Psalm 146 verses 1 and 2 says, Praise the Lord my soul, I will praise him as long as I live. We are now in the Christian season of, of Advent. Advent is a period of four weeks, which the Christian Church uses to prepare for the birth of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. So the theme for today's devotion is Advent, the season of hope. Advent. The season of hope. The first Bible passage comes from Psalm 145 verses 1 to 3. Psalm 145 verses 1 to 3 are these words. I will proclaim your greatness, my God and King. I will thank you forever and ever. Every day I will thank you. I will praise you forever and ever. The Lord is great and is to be highly praised. His greatness is beyond understanding. I will proclaim your greatness, my God and King. I will thank you forever and ever. Every day I will thank you. I will praise you forever and ever. The Lord is great and is to be highly praised. His greatness is beyond understanding. The theme for today's devotion, Advent, the season of hope. The words from this psalm is an appropriate way of beginning this Christian season of Advent. Every day I will thank God forever and ever. God's greatness is beyond our understanding. David, the writer of many of the psalms, his life was not always smooth sailing. David went through ups and downs in his life. And when he sinned, David confessed before God. And when he went through difficult times in his life, David turned to the Lord for guidance and direction. And David was given hope from God who always brought him out of difficult situations and God's mercy and love saved him. God saw that the world needed to be given a new beginning because of their sins. God knew that the only way people could be made right with God is for his son, Jesus, to die for our sins so that we could be saved. Our God is a God of hope. A God who lifts us up when we are downhearted and depressed. When we began this current lockdown, I didn't think, and I don't think anyone would have thought, that by the end of November, which we are at now, that we would still be in lockdown. Yet we are. However, there was always hope on the horizon. Our vaccination rates are up, the traffic light system, the new system, will be operating soon. As Christians, we are a people of hope. Even when we are up against it, and those around us make loud noises of complaining, yet the Christian can remain positive and hopeful because of their faith in God. God who makes the impossible possible. God who brings light out of darkness. And God who can turn the shadow of the night into the joy of the new morning. Advent, the season of hope. Now the second Bible passage comes from Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24, 
Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24 are these words, Examine me, O God, and know my mind. Test me and discover my thoughts. Find out if there is any evil in me and guide me in the everlasting ways. Examine me, O God, and know my mind. Test me and discover my thoughts. Find out if there is any evil in me and guide me in the everlasting ways. The theme for today's devotion, Advent, the season of hope. As I mentioned, whenever David, the writer of the psalm, goes through difficulties in his life, he never feels defeated or feels like there is no hope. No, David always relies upon God to give him hope, to renew his faith, to direct his life, to provide teaching, guidance and correction for his life. Psalm 139 verses 23 and 24 is another example of this. David asks God to examine him, to test him, to discover his faults. If there's any evil in him, then God, guide me in your ways. David always speaks words of hope. His starting point is to always speak and think positively. That is a sign of a person who is close to God. They live out their faith and they speak out their faith in positive ways. The Christian season we are now in is the season of Advent. Advent is a time when we look forward. We are hopeful. We know that God has better days in store for us. We know and believe that God has everything under his control. For some, it is hard to be hopeful because of the pandemic and the way that it affects people and families. Perhaps a reduction in income, the lack of being able to meet up with families, the loneliness, the closed borders and being, able, be unab and being unable to travel. And for some, like I said, it may be the loneliness of not being able to reconnect or connect with people in church worship or in gatherings. Even though we face difficulties, yet the God we believe in is a God of hope. So let us begin the season of Advent being hopeful that even though we journey in uncertain times, God has better and brighter days in store for us. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your love and mercy upon us, revealed to us in Jesus Christ, whose death and resurrection saved us from our sins and gives to us eternal life. Your holy word, Lord God, is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Thank you for this Christian season of Advent as we begin preparing for the birth of Jesus Christ. Bless all workers, students, those who are grieving, those who are sick or ill. Grant to these your healing mercies, your strength and your comfort, Lord God. May all that we do today bring glory and honour to your holy name. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen. Please continue to obey the rules of the, of the restrictions that we are living under. And we shall see you again tomorrow.